Yes, class. Noted the question. Tried it. Calculate the force on mass M placed at the centroid of the triangle. So yesterday we have studied about the gravitational force. So first one, F A when we are discussing, this is G, capital M, small m, and what's the separation? R squared. That is the first one. When we are talking about the force B, uh, the gravitational constant is G. First mass which is placed at the centroid of the triangle. That is capital M and the other mass is small m divided by R square. And FC, this is capital G, capital M, small m by R square. Now, see, if you look at the magnitude, all of these forces are uh, exactly the same. They have the same magnitude. So this one, this one, this one, all of these, you can say this is the force F. As in your individual forces when we are referring means the first force A, the second force FB, the third force FC. If you want, you can write this as F, this as F, and this as F, because they all are the same. Now, what we've studied in the last class was the superposition principle. Superposition principle said that when we have multiple masses present, then the net mass on the of the overall system is given by the vector sum of the individual forces. So individual forces we have calculated. Now mm -hmm. our task is to find out the net force. So how do you calculate the net force? It's a vector quantity. So you have to calculate the net force by using the formula C. Uh, we have three forces. One force is here. One force is directed here and other force is directed here. This is what we have and what we have to resolve. So the angle here, this angle here is 120 degree. So what we can do, we can resolve these two forces first. F1 means these two forces first, not F1, F2. I'm just simply using the term F for it as a general term. So this is also F, this is also F. What we can do, if they are making an angle of 120 degree, let us find some resultant F dash between these two. Because see, parallelogram when we are studying, that time I told you that parallelogram has a limitation that it just calculates the forces. To, uh, it just calculates two vectors at a time. Only two vectors at a time. No. So F dash will be equal to... Okay, Sabia, no issues. So this is under root F plus F square plus 2 F into F into cos 120 degrees. So this is equal to uh, F square plus F square is 2 F square plus 2 F square into minus half. So 2, 2 cancel. So this is equal to under root 2 F square minus F square, which is equal to under root F square, which is equal to F. Okay. It means above force is F, downward force is also F. What is the resultant? Can anyone answer what should be the resultant? Above force F, downward force F. Both the forces are F. F. Okay, if two vectors are in opposite direction, what do you do? One force above F, one force downwards, exactly in opposite direction. Means they have the angle 180 degree. This, the, these two, if two forces are exactly in the opposite direction. Yes, just lean. They cancel each other. other. Yeah, correct. Child. They'll cancel each other. Yes, Ali is also right. Zainab's second answer is right. Zero. See, both the forces, see, it's like, 5 Newton, you are pulling 5 Newton upwards. Someone is pulling 5 Newton downwards. Will there be any movement? No, because they'll be cancelling each other. So that is the net force which is present. Okay. Uh, we'll see some other questions also. First, you will write down this. Then we'll discuss. Okay. Question number 
static words are na means uh, they are not moving that's what you are asking yes ma'am yeah the net system is in equilibrium because nothing is moving
See, you have to calculate the ratio, Shaima. You're, you're, ju you're just calculating the first one. Okay, let me discuss it only. Gravitational forces between two point masses, M and capital M, are separated by a distance small r. This is F. If a point mass 3 meter is placed next to small m, what will be the force on capital M due to small m and total force of it? Means capital M is there. Ma'am? Yeah, Shana. Is it 3m or 3 times the mass of small m? Where, where? 3 meter. 3 meter. That is 3 meter. Okay. But this you're saying? This, this? Yes, ma'am. If a point mass, 3m. 3m means this is placed just adjacent to this. Oh, I, I'll tell you this. I'm coming. I'm discussing this, Shaiba. Capital M is there. Small m is there. They are separated by R. So when you calculate the gravitational force, it will clearly be capital G, capital M, small m by R. Square. All of you have understood till this point. It says 3M is just placed near this. So what is the total mass here? This total mass now on the right hand side is 4M because it is just placed. Nothing is removed and it is not exchanged. So now the new force which you will be calculating will be gm 4m by r. Now you take the ratio. So it is f by f dash. So it is g capital M small m by r square into r square by g capital M 4m. Mm cancel, mm cancel, g g cancel, r square r square canceled. Clearly f dash is equal to 4 Okay. Write it. Ma'am, can you explain the second part again? Yeah. See, it says that capital M is present. First, let us read the question. The question says, gravitational forces between two point masses, small m and capital M, are separated by distance small r. This is F. This is the case. Capital M, small m, separation r, so F is equal to G, capital M, small m by r square. Now, it says, if a point mass 3m, 3 times m, is placed next to M. It is just placed next to M. It is not replacing M. M is not becoming three times. No, it is just placed. What will be the force on capital M due to small M? So that force on capital M due to small M is this. Now see, this becomes 4M. Total mass on this side is 4M. And this is capital M. So force will be G capital M 4M by R square. Now, for the total force, let's take the ratio. When we take the ratio, we see that the new force is 4 times the original force. Now, clear? Yes, ma'am.
Okay, now variation of acceleration due to gravity. In the last class, I told you that the gravity, the gravity acceleration due to gravity varies with height and surfaces, right? If you have on the surface of Earth, the value as 9.8 meter per second square, then at some height, some very high altitude, the value of gravity acceleration due to gravity will be different. Then um, at a certain depth also, it will be different. So first we will discuss the variation of acceleration due to gravity at an altitude, means at a height. See, this is the Earth, this is the radius of Earth, this is the gravitational uh, acceleration due to gravity on the surface of Earth. This is G M by R square formula, which we have discussed. There's a point. This is it. This is G dash. Let's say G dash, some other value. So uh, what I am doing, I am writing this entire total h plus r as small r. Because all the time we will be writing h plus r, h plus r. It's simply, it's better if we are representing it with small r. So, see, g dash is equal to g m by r square. Right? Uh, g dash. Or if you write this is g m by uh, r plus h whole square. Now, g dash will be g m by uh, see if I if I write if I take r square common from here I'll be left with 1 plus h by r here h by r square right if I take r square common see if you multiply this inside it will give you r square plus h by r again and r square r square will be cancelled so r plus h will be left so what can we say class this is clear why have i written it as 1 plus h plus r see let me multiply this inside this is r square plus uh h square by r square this side and this is r square so r square r square cancelled and that is r plus h whole square from the starting from the starting, see, in the starting, what we have discussed? In the starting, we have discussed that there's a height h yeah. and the total separation from the center of Earth is h plus r. Yeah. Acceleration due to gravity's formula is g by r square. So, if it is, uh, sorry, g m by r square. So, this g dash will be equal to g m by r plus h whole square. g m by small r square, that is this. G m by small r square. Small r means r plus h. Okay. That is the height and the radius of earth. Because you always calculate everything from the center of the earth. So from the center of the earth, the radius plus the altitude height. So total is h plus r. Now in the general formula, we have g m by r square. Since the separation here is h plus r, we will write the total formula as gm by r plus h square. Now we have taken, see, in this, if I have to take something out, I have to take no, r no. square out. Right? I have to take r square out. If I do not mm -hmm. take r, if I just take r out, do you think it is possible here to simply take r because this is r square. The whole formula is R square. So, I have taken R square common. So, we have to put the denominator also with R. So, this term is already H square by R square. This is R square. So, when it will be multiplied, as I have shown you the calculation, it will give you R plus H square. Now, G M by R square. If you, if you look at this, G M by R square, G g m by r square is basically acceleration due to gravity. So, so what will be the formula here? g by 1 plus h by r whole square. Now class, there is a concept of binomial expression in your maths. So those students who do not have maths, pay attention here because in bio, this will not be taught and it is a portion of your class 11th and 12th mathematics. So uh, just make a note. Uh, I'll tell you first and when I'll give you time to copy, make a note and write about the binomial expressions. Basically, when we have a quantity in this form, 1 plus x to the power n, 
like we had it here, 1 plus h by r to the power 2. So this wins 1 plus x to the power n is written like this. So if your x is very much less than 1, we write this as c. x has to be very much less than 1. So 1 plus h by r to the power minus 2. If I bring it in the numerator, it means your x is equal to h by r. So h by r has to be less than 1. This is your n, no? x h by r. If I bring this in the numerator, this is minus 2. This term was in the denominator. So I have brought it in the uh, numerator. So it is now minus 2. Earlier it was plus 2 in the denominator. In the numerator it is minus 2. So among this statement 1 plus C1 plus X to the power N. So X is H by R and N is minus 2. If H, is, H by R is very very less than 1 means H is very very less than R. Do you understand this? See, x has to be less than 1. Means this quantity has to be uh, less than 1. Okay. So, it means h has to be less than r. So, if you see this condition, then you can apply the binomial expression. Otherwise, the formula before this, which I have written, that was enough. That was enough, the formula which we had written. Okay. So, now... Uh, when we are writing this, see 1 plus x uh, one plus x to the power n is there. So now 1 plus h by r to the power minus 2. Why have we written this? Because this was in the denominator. Now I have brought it in the numerator. So power has changed. This has become minus 2. Among this 1 plus x. This is 1 plus x is h by r to the power n is minus 2. So x equal to h by r. It means x is very, very less than 1 is the condition. So, let us see h by r is should be very, very less than 1. And if you transport r, that means h is very, very less than r. So, 1 plus x by n, when we are writing 1 plus x by n. Okay, here, when we are writing 1 plus x by n. Uh, so, this will be 1 plus n x. Okay, this will be 1 plus n x. This is how we write this. So, g dash is g 1 plus h by r to the power minus 2. So, what will be the formula? This will be g 1 plus nx. 1 plus nx means minus 2 will be multiplied here. Minus 2 is getting multiplied to h by r. This is the modification in this formula. If your height is very, very less than the radius of the earth. This is the condition. Use this formula. Otherwise, if you do not see this, then straight away you have this formula available. G pi 1 plus h by r. Tell me, class, any doubts in this? Anything you want me to repeat? Anything, class? Please let me know so that I can repeat this till here. Any query? Any point unclear? Clear or not? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. What about you, Ali? Clear, yeah, ma'am. Jesseline? Yes, ma'am, it's clear. Write it. Then I'll discuss the questions based on this. If h by r is 0, then this is not a condition of small. Then this is vanished. If height by radius is 0, means there is no radius, there is no height. If we are saying h by r is 0, it means height is 0. That is the surface. Is Ma'am, if point answers are there also. What? If point answers are there also. If, if. Point answers are there also. Point difference? Yes, ma'am. 
see zero point something difference is there then also yeah then it is very small correct but this is not this much small when i say no height and this ratio is small it's like see if the radius of earth is so many 6000 kilometers like this and height is just 500 meters or just 5000 meters so still it's a very you have to compare it okay you have to compare the ratio height by radius if we, if we say it is zero that means height is not there because see if radius is zero then the answer is infinite and that is not possible radius of earth can never be zero height can be zero but if height is zero it means it is on the surface of earth whose formula is this gm by r square and if it is zero point something if the ratio is coming you don't see the ratio you see the height you see the radius you then compare them you see the heights value whatever values go and you see the radius value then you compare it is it clear yes ma'am
See, it says that calculate the height at which the value of G decreases to half of its value at the surface of Earth. Means G dash now becomes 50% of G. Or G dash is simply G by 2. So see, G dash is G M by R square. You know this. Let's do one thing. Let's multiply and divide it by R square. So what we'll have? See, G, M by, why am I saying this? Why am I doing this? Because plus G, M by small r square, there is no way to get our G back. Correct? That's why now at least I can have small G. So G dash is equal to G by 2. And here we have G by small r square and this capital R square is left. GG gets cancelled. 2R square is equal to small r square. So, G dash is equal to, no, here G R square by small r square was there and we have cancelled it. So, 2R square is equal to R plus H whole square. Why? Why have I written this like? Because small r is equal to R plus H as discussed so, 2R is equal to R plus H whole square. Let's take the root on this side. Let's make our calculation a little easy. This will be R plus H. So, what is height? Height is simply R root 2 minus 1. That's it. This is your answer. Write down. This question you have understood or not? Should I repeat it? It's clear? Yes, ma'am. Can you repeat? Ma'am, can you repeat? And see, what are we doing in this question? Basically, G is G by 2. Now, in the formula, what are we doing? In the main formula, you have height also, which we have discussed, the formula which we have uh, which we have done before. Now, we have to have small gene also in our answer. That's why only it can be reduced. So, G dash is equal to GM by small r square. That is the formula which we have discussed, which you know. What we are doing here, we are multiplying it by r square by r square. Okay. This way, GM by r square can be extracted and it will give us G. So, we will have G capital R square by small r square. Correct? We'll have this equation. Till this equation, is everything clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, G dash is equal to G by 2. So, we have substituted it here. G, G got cancelled. 2 R square is equal to a small R square. What do we have to find? We have to find out the height only. No, the question says, calculate the height at which the value of small g decreases to half of its value at the surface. You have to find out that height at which this condition is valid. That height in which this condition is valid. So, 2 r square is equal to small r square. Now we can replace small r with r plus h. At least if you are writing r plus h from the starting, it will be so lengthy for you and you will miss on things. So it's better at the last step. Now I cannot solve this further. I really need r plus h in our answer so that now height is introduced. Shift this root on the sides uh, or take the square on both the sides so that root values on both the sides. So this 2 gets cancelled with the half. And on this side, you have root r. And uh, for r square, it will be r. We have taken root. Root 2r is equal to r plus h. This is h. So h is equal to r root 2 minus. Now clear? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Write it. If so, you have any query, you are free to ask.
Turn man. Ten man.
okay class tomorrow we'll continue the, not tomorrow now we have the class on saturday no so let's continue this in the next class now variations we'll complete uh, then we'll come to the potential theory okay class please revise this and come my last few questions all right thank you so much thank you ma'am bye ma'am thank you ma'am